Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to properly set up uh, the new Unity input system to set up a split screen mode in your game. Let's start by adding the new Unity input package. So go to Window, go to Package Manager, and you can search for the new Unity input system and just click on Install. Wait for it to finish installing. When this message shows up, uh, just click on No. We'll set it up manually. So to set it up, let's go to Edit, Project Settings, and click on Input Manager. I'm sorry, Input System Package. Let's create a settings asset. And then let's go to player and below in other settings let's go a little bit down here where it says active input handling right now it's set to the old input manager uh, if your game depends on on the old input manager to do a few things you can just select both or you can just select the new input manager. For this video, I will just uh, select this one and it will prompt me to restart the editor. So now that we have that set up, let's create a player. So let's right click in 3D object and select a capsule and let's add a plane for it to stand and just reset this transform. This one, let's move it a little bit up. Let's add a rigid body component to this. And let's set a constraint so it doesn't rotate. And let's make the camera a child of this capsule. Let's adjust it a little bit this so it's looking at the player and then let's create a new folder called prefabs and just rename this player and drag the player to the prefabs folder so what we're doing right here is create a prefab for the input manager to know what kind of player to spawn on the world when when we want to join the, the game so Let's create a new game object, which will have player input manager. And you can see here, we can just drag the prefab we just created. And let's click on enable split screen, just like that. Uh, one more thing, let's create a new canvas here. So this canvas will be specifically for the player's UI. And the important thing here is to select on the canvas component. So set the render mode to screen space camera. And just drag the camera right here. So let's, let's just add some components here just to show that this canvas belongs to to this player specifically. Hello world. There. Okay. Put this here. Let's also add a player input component to this player. So select the player, click on add component, and add a player input. So let's just create actions right here. Click on create, uh, save it here. I'll name it input and save. Uh, you have to manually assign it. You can just drag it right here. And for now, let's leave it like this. Let's add the, the camera here. And let's apply this to the prefab. Now let's set up the event system, the 
just click right here and on the player like I said on, on the canvas multiplayer event system so we need to set this to have the player as root and add the default input modules and this will add the standalone input let's just replace it with the input system UI like this and then click on player and apply all the last thing we need to do is a few adjustments to the canvas so just click on the player click on canvas and let's set the play distance to one so you can see now the button appears on the game screen and let's adjust this a little bit so scene set this to right here and the text what I'm doing here is uh, just press shift and alt so it sets the pivot and the position so we set it to the top right and we just move it a little bit now Let's apply this to the prefab. Now we just delete the player and click play. Now if I press any button on the keyboard, one player will, will join. And if I press any button on the um, another input device, another player will join. So for example, I have a gamepad. And I just press one button and it went flying. So you can see it there. It's one which with its own camera and UI. So you can further customize this with your, your own player and user interface. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.